Harry got creamed. I'm depressed. I'm a depressed feral cat. You didn't think he's stupid. What do you care if he didn't like your story? I didn't think he was stupid until he was stupid to me today. So, if he liked your story, that would make him not stupid? Yes. If he liked my story, that would make him smart, okay? Just wanted to be sure. What are you still doing here? Douglas is out there having drinks with the love of your life. She is not the love of my life. Are you kidding? She's a twit. Yeah, guys hate that. Sucks that she's gorgeous, too. Okay, she's attractive. No one is going to say she's not attractive. <laughs> We're completely in love with her. Do not think it's utterly obvious to absolutely everyone who sees you in the same room with her? I am not in love with her. She's clearly got something going on with Douglas. <laughs> How she can even stand and talk to him for more than 15 seconds at a go is a mystery. Seriously? Can I give you a ride? Maybe you could give her a ride to Yado where the interiority and the exteriority of the landscape is so stunningly in sync with the diasporic essentiality of the mimetic dialogue between self and culture. Maybe that's what he should do. Don't kid yourself. She would love a ride to Yaddo. Don't eat all the chips. I want those. Fuck me. Fuck her. <laughs> fuck him. No, fuck me. I'm the one who got creamed. This sucks. That story was fantastic. People love that story. You love that story. Well, I... What? Nothing. You don't love that story. It's... Okay. You've been working on it for six years. Yeah, I've been working on it for six years because people like it. People... Frank Conroy, he was the writer-in-residence up at Bennington. And do you know what he told me? He told me it was much better than most. Not better than most, much better than most. When I was at Bennington... Jesus, was there ever a time you weren't at Bennington? Well, oh, seriously, it's like you exist in this alternate universe called Bennington. I learned a lot there, Martin. What you learned was how to write one lousy story in six years. That's not a... I didn't mean the story was lousy. Fuck you, you did too. Well, why have you been writing the same story for six years? Because people kept telling me that it was good, but that it needed more work. Well then, Leonard just did you a big favor, didn't he? Meaning? Now you can write something else. You know, this is my apartment, so I can't walk out. Can no, you walk out, no, please? No, no, come on, don't yeah, do that. Yeah, I want please. that. Get Listen out of my apartment. Listen, I mean it. I have to part. tell you something. What? I'm uh, getting kicked out of my apartment because I'm a little late on the rent. Can I stay with you? I mean... You got, like, nine extra bedrooms, and it's free. Who knew it was free? I can stay. Right? <laughs>